This is the Earth Science Classroom. So our sun is a star, and looking at other stars around the Milky Way galaxy basically showed us the potential for our sun and what's going to do based on the size and the amount of energy and the spectrum that the sun gives off compared to other stars. So our characteristics of stars are based on one thing, it's the mass, how big the star is, and that is dependent on how much stellar nebula is used to form the, the star in terms of the collapsing and the formation of the core and nuclear fusion. Once this happens, it is then a main sequence star, which is where the star spends most of its life and what we find most of the stars are in, about 90%. At the end of the star's life, it depends on the, on the size, so the small and medium-sized stars will go into a red giant and expand based on the lack of hydrogen, and then it will basically implode and dissolve into planetary nebula, and then the core is left to cool down, this is called a white dwarf, and it's very small, it's like the skeleton of that star. Then if you have a big mass star, or a high mass star, it will turn into a red supergiant in its later stages of its development, and then it will go into a large explosion called a supernova, and that supernova will either turn into a neutron star, which is a very small, high-dense, leftover part of the star, or it'll go into a black hole, which will implode in itself and form black holes, which we now know are in the center of every galaxy. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth science.